All right. Am I going to get any volunteers, or we're going to have to pick on people? For what? For the vocabulary. All right, Ms. Morton. Yeah. Ms. Morton, start us with fresh. Steel. Hold on, hold on. The Yes. So the first term, this is originally an agricultural term. You bring the wheat in from the field and you'd separate the wheat from the chaff by using a flail to beat out all the chaff. Right. But now if someone says, let's thrust your chaff, they don't mean they want to beat you with a stick. They mean that they want to separate the false from the true, which is just like separate yeah. things. So, um, yeah. Separate. So, what's an antonym of this? To aid or assist. All right, aiding someone instead of you know, beating them senseless. So, antonym: aid or assist. All right, and synonyms. What else is another word? For Pause. Hmm? Fresh. Pause. Bang. Rush. Yeah. Beat. You know, it's a very violent word, thrash. If someone says they'd like to thrash things out with you, slash is more of a uh, visceral thing. It's very close to thrash. Again, agricultural terms come up a lot. What I got over here was for synonyms was bang, thrash, and collide. Yep. Collide, I think. Yes, sir, you calm down. Calm down would be an answer. Yeah. And that's what you asked me, right? Yeah. Now, from change. Right. So, if someone says, I'd like to thresh a few things out with you, it doesn't mean in this context, since none of us are farmers that I know of. Is anyone here a farmer? All right, cool. Let's check. All right, so if someone says they want to thresh things out with you, that refers to the practice of, you know, beating the wheat to get the chaff and seeds out of it to make it, you know, pure, so to speak. So, if they want, like, say, um, I wanted to talk to Georgie about his makeup. I said, all right, you don't have any as far as I know. You only have two glasses. She said, I want to thresh a few things out about, about uh, your, the makeup policy and all that sort of thing. That means we're going to discuss them and, you know, weed things out. All right? So this is an interesting word. It can catch a lot of people off guard. If you can use it well, awesome. If you're not sure you can use it well, I won't use it. The rule of thumb is don't use it. Um, all right, so this got me excited. Yes, Cheryl? Okay, okay. So, this leads us to my one of my favorite words, ephemeral. Anyone want to uh, take a crack at that? Is this one easier? Yes, it's down it. of lasting for a very short time. Enduring. Enduring. Alright, yeah, that's a good one. that's secondary, which is very specific and only used in Old English for the most part. 
but you get total bonus credit from, from me anyway, if you use this in your writing. Ephemeral used to mean literally only one day. Uh, so if you think about it, each day is ephemeral because it'll cost for graph. But uh, the, the image that ephemeral is frequently is set, uh, used with in creative writing and most academic writing. Can you say the missing this one? Sure. The, mor the morning mists were ephemeral, ephemeral. They were burned away by the, by the rising sun. Say that again? The morning mists were ephemeral. They were burned away by the rising sun. Or like, you know how the, uh, in the spring there's like little remnants of winter, like the frost on the ground, but by, you know, midday it's gone, it's melted. That's ephemeral. It didn't last very long. You know? So if you want to say brief, ephemeral is a very good way to do it. It has a more nature-based connotation. Um, and also just being very elegant for it. Yeah? Oh, that's right. right. All right. It's all right. Got to bear with me, guys. I'm a bit of a good this. Now then, so ephemeral, thresh, rather different words, but in your own writing, uh, actually one way my old English teacher used to describe them is, think of an emotion, any emotion. They're ephemeral because you don't feel that way the entire time. You know, you're not mad forever, you're not happy forever. Feelings are ephemeral. Uh, at least unless you're uh, big head case in which case. I'm not gonna get into that. All right, so that was our vocabulary. Not easy stuff, but hopefully helpful stuff. Yes, Ms. Johnson, you look rather, rather peaked. Yeah, yeah. Because all right. what I'm trying to do is put all these big ending words. Mm -hmm. Guys, check your outlook, minimize or save or do whatever you need to do with your documents. Okay? The, whatever's on your screen. Yeah, so go to Outlook. I couldn't get the projector working, so we're doing the next best thing. Uh, in your inboxes, if I missed anyone, let me know. You will see a uh, email from me with a link and a code to join that code will allow you to sh share my computer screen. Email? Yeah, it's in the email. Oh, you said you guys are going to join me. Yeah, and I gave you the code to get through and share with my screen. Oh. It will. Are we going to go to join.com? Yeah, click the link I sent you and then enter the code I sent you. All right, we got two people in. All right, Ms. Wilma, pass out the copies you made. Excellent. What? What's wrong, Mr. Wilma? All right, so go into the Outlook. Outlook, right? Is it going to be Write the number down. Or just copy it. Copy, copy, copy. Yeah, copy, right? Copy, copy. Yes, the whole thing. Are you ready? Yes. 
Do you want us to send this to you? Yeah, no, I don't want you to send anything. How about you got on this? So I can join that me. All right, let's go to this one. So double click on this. Oh. All right, open it, click that, and you have a thing set. There you go, three numbers. See that? Click on this. I'll actually click on this. All right, so. monitors what you've been handed out is a blank version of this so as you go through if you, if you want to put these definitions for your own notes that'd be useful um, what I'm going to do is a brief rehash of what we did last time very brief it won't be long so you know we went over nouns a person a place or a thing at great length on the board you all know what a noun is and can identify it in their, your own writing Pronouns, modify a noun, or an adjective. We'll, we'll deal with that later in the show. Um, oh, show, slideshow. Uh, verbs are action words, but they also count is, like, um, to be verb. is, was, to be, yeah. Um, I was so tired of this. The verb in that is was, because was is a state of being. Uh, adjective describes nouns. I am a... Uh, small-minded little weasel. There, small-minded and little are adjectives that describe me. Um, adverbs, the best thing to uh, help you remember an adverb is, for the most part, if they end in a L-Y, they're an adverb. Like if um, I said, don't touch that, I said excitedly. The adverb is excitedly, because I'm saying something, it's a describing how I'm talking to you. You see? Anyway, all these will be covered. There are uh, three lesser parts that we'll get into as the semester goes on. Uh, conjunctions, interjections, i.e. interruptions, something. We'll watch that. I will, I will get it stuck in your head so bad that you'll beg for relief. Clause. Quite right, quite right. And the last one is the dreaded prepositional phrase. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to love this. All right, so next slide is. All right, we'll have a all right, so you know you already seen you've already seen the sentence. Jim rode up Mount Kilimanjaro on his bicycle. Um, oh, oh, I uh, may have switched them up a bit to keep you on your toes. So pay attention. Um, but if you're having trouble following along with your written versions, just watch this, and then we can go over it. Okay. All right. Okay, so. Yeah, you're going to find a lot of nouns. Anyone here uh, keep count of how many nouns were in their uh, were in their writing bits when they got them back at the end of last class? Remember you peer reviewed it and highlighted all the nouns in the other person's work? Anyone here have a, uh, a number for that? OK, good. But you understand that there are a lot of them. There's not going to be a sentence alive without a noun in it. Unless they're one, so one word sentences, but okay. Um, so we all know that. Pronouns, modify nouns or adjectives. Tell me, do you say dirty whenever you write down something? Do you say, uh, dirty, dirty Johnson 
Lights pancakes. Thirty Johnson likes how they taste. Do you always use your name when you're referring to yourself? No. This looks like a job for pronouns. And here's why. I'm going to click this, and hopefully all of you have speakers. So if not, then you'll get the idea. Oh, wait. We need that headphones? Uh, you won't really need them so much. So much as... Hold on a minute. Who here can hear anything? No, I need my headphones. All right, get your headphones out, and I'll pause this once it comes up. Stupid advertisements. Miss Mac, make a note. Install ad blockers on all computers. Install what? Ad blockers on all computers. <laughs> uh, this is nearly criminal. All right, so headphones are out. Yes. All right, I'll pause it anyway just to make sure everyone's getting the point here. All right. Headphones are in. That was funny. Easy. Should be about midway. Don't, don't blow out your speakers or your ears. I need your ears so I can lecture you. Um, we're just still hearing. Okay. All right. So watch this clip, and that this will be a brief introduction to pronouns. You're almost ready. Yeah. Excellent. Um, Not everyone's ready yet. I, I would only like to play this once, if possible. I understand. Oh, you need headphones? Okay, hold on. Um, Hello. 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 Lesson two, making people watch a YouTube video on separate monitors is like herding cats. Anyone here ever tried to herd cats? It's very tiresome work. They're not meant to move together. I know. Am I causing you a headache, Miss Johnson? I've been like this all day. I'm sorry. All right, everyone's ready? Or if you're not ready, if you're not ready, throw your hands up. All right, well, too bad. Here we go. Can't hear anything? If not, I can just go like this. You got nothing? Well, not yet. Yeah, put your earphones up. Um, They're in. All the way up. Yeah. You gotta put your speaker all the way up. Better? Okay, anyone can hear this? You okay? No? All right, hold on. All right. That's what I'm saying. Pull out your earphones. We're gonna do this the old way. Yep. It should go through your speakers, in theory. If not, we're going to do this the really, 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 really old way, which is everyone's just going to stand over here and watch. Okay? Maybe it's just the, uh, because it's the We'll see. Could be, but we'll see. All right. Everyone ready? Ready. Awesome. It's true, Doc. I'm a rabbit, all right. Would you like to shoot me now okay. or wait till you get home? Shoot him now! Shoot him now! Mm -hmm.
You keep out of this. He doesn't have to shoot you now. He doesn't have to shoot me now. Can you hear it? Alright. Cornelius, you got it? No, okay. Now. <laughs> Let's run through that again. Okay. Would you like to shoot me now or wait till you get home? Shoot him now. Shoot him now. You keep on at this. He doesn't have to shoot you now. Ha! That's it. Hold it right there. Pronoun trouble. Pronoun trouble. It's not he doesn't have to shoot you now. It's he doesn't have to shoot me now. Well, I say he does have to shoot me now. So shoot me now. <laughs> So you get the idea now? Pronoun trouble. Pronoun trouble. It's a serious business to misuse a pronoun. So I'm going to keep uh, the join me up, and we're going to talk about pronouns for a bit, at least for another 15 minutes until break, at which point we'll switch things up a bit. Alrighty. Alright, so, pronoun. Pronoun is used... instead of a uh, proper noun, in a lot of cases. And it makes your writing a lot more flexible. Everyone here uh, wrote their, everyone here wrote with the, uh, you know, what makes you get out of bed. I'm assuming that everyone here wrote in the first person. Right? Not just I, I, I. I is a pronoun, because it's being used instead of Cornelius Baker wrote, you know, da da da. Because you, people with the, again, no effect, no offense to the people who are slightly touched. But unless you're slightly touched, you're usually not referring to yourself in the third person. So we use pronouns all the time. I, we, she, he, to some degree, it. They're used instead of the name because otherwise things get repetitive. Not me and mine. Yes, those two. Anything you use instead of your name, in a lot of ways, can be considered a pronoun. I do. Because Carol came to Well, it's a good way to establish reputation, <laughs> certainly. Yes? You said pronouns are used before what? They are used in the place of proper nouns. So, I'll write a pair of sentences. So, so um, instead of saying Jan, oh, Lisa, I can say she. Went. Excuse to me. the bank. She went to She nearly flipped my lid because my money was for <laughs> got the um purse. Oh, forgot. Uh Whatever. I was originally going to make this into a bank robbery joke, but that didn't work out. So, all right. This is a, so. Bear with me. This this class is going to have a lot of little details, and most, if not all of them, are going to improve your writing. So, all right. You're you're not often going to be writing like this, but Carol went to the bank. She, is she. Carol. Carol. Right, Carol. because you set it up in the last sentence. If you just said, she just went to the bank as the first opening, she you, then people still don't know who you are. Right. Largely, be anybody. Yeah, largely anyone who's <laughs> yeah. 
So she nearly forgot her, not Carol again. She, her, you know. She her nearly forgot her. Yeah. She would be a name. Anything that modifies a proper noun, or can be used in the place of a proper noun. Yes? Okay, so independently that sentence, she nearly forgot her deposit slip. Yeah. Then she would be the noun, and her would be the pronoun. Yes, actually. That yeah. actually does work that way. How about her name? Her name no, is no. a proper noun. It no, no. cannot be a pronoun. Um, however, this also works with titles. Um, so say, uh, who here has ever had a title as part of their job? Johnson? Nursing assistant. Right. So, um, right. The CNA. Nursing assistant. Checked her watch. Okay? Nursing assistant is the noun? Well, and her is the pronoun? Bear with me here. All right, so a title like this. So say that by some freak of nature, this happened to be all in the same paragraph. It, there's no reason this wouldn't work. Um, titles like nursing assistant work as well as she, her, his, it. Like, for example, a larger scale example, uh, a pronoun for Barack Obama might be the president of the United States. Right. Or um, there's actually a very interesting naming system in a very small part of the world. Your name, your last name, your surname, like say, you know, Cornelius's surname is Baker, right? And mine is Allison, hers is Richardson, etc. Uh, in Iceland, their, their surnaming system is who's ever son or daughter you are. So, your last name is basically a pronoun, which is insane. So, what was your father's name? Thomas. Right. So, you wouldn't be uh, Cornelius Baker. You would be Cornelius uh, Thomas. Uh, Thomas. 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 Thomas's son. son. Thomas. You just have two S's on there. Thomas's. Uh, Thomas's Thomas son. son. Yeah. It, it's weird. My point is, pronouns in any language show up all over the damn place. And they're the key to having fluid writing. I got it. Uh, I, sometimes there's something satisfying by using your hands. All right, so pronouns, without them, your writing becomes very stilted, and you start your sentences the same way, because you always have to establish your subject. These allow greater flexibility in your writing. Like I've, I've been reviewing some of your work, and you already seem to have a pretty intuitive grasp of this, that you need to vary your sentence structure. That's good. Any questions on pronouns so far? Any miserable looks about pronouns so far? Yes. I have a uh, question. Uh, on this page here, is, it looks like it's two pronouns. Yeah. I only see one. Okay, Jamie was late to the meeting because it was moved to the last moment and nobody told him. It. You know. got him and what? It. Ah. Uh, no. Jamie? See him. Jamie is a noun, right? Jamie is a proper noun, yes, but Jamie is a noun. Look at the join me. It and him. I like messing with you. The red herring in there was nobody, because that can refer to any number of people. But yes, it and him, in that case. Um, All right, so everyone's pretty clear on the idea of pronouns. Like if I told you to write a sentence using a pronoun or two, you could do that. Like if I just put you on the spot? Mm -hmm. I mean, not that I'm going to, I'm not a sadist. I'm still not really understanding it. It, it, it? Oh, I can explain. Because it, it refers to the meeting, like watch. Okay, so Jamie was late to the meeting because so it was moved at the last moment and nobody told him. Okay, so you... So in order to identify the pronoun, don't you have to first identify the noun? Yep. Right? The noun is almost always foreshadowed. Which is Jamie. Right. Meeting is a noun. Meeting, meeting is a noun in this case. It can stand for non-people too. But we're talking about the meeting, not Jamie. We're so talking about both. It is the pronoun. Okay, I got it. See, like, well, you'll always I have, just have to hear myself saying that. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Yes, Miss Cheryl. Why? 
that was good because you have one. Okay. Okay. What? Excuse why, me? Why was it meeting at? Because meeting is like Jamie, it's just a regular noun. So the thing with pronouns is that they'll always be foreshadowed by the things that refer to them. So this is or they're by their actual names. Otherwise, the sentences don't work. Like if you take out, if you look at your screen, if you took out Jamie in meeting, uh, the sentence makes no sense. It was moved at the last minute and nobody told him. What, what the devil just happened? But if you say, you know, Jamie was late to the meeting and it, uh, because it was moved, then you automatically know that you're referring to the meeting in Jamie without having to bring them back into it again. It avoids word repetition. So that's another clue to a pronoun. The sentence could stand with just the pronouns and not the... It can stand without the noun, or stand without the pronoun sometimes. Again, Maybe we'll talk about pronoun. we'll talk about general rules for them okay. in terms of sentence structure in a bit. But right now, know that there's there's no sentence on earth without a noun, without, without a noun, unless you're talk, counting one word sentences which are not because they're cheap. Um, I mean, they work in dialogue, but they work less here. I understand that I'm talking probably very quickly. And confusing you. Welcome to my life. Um, all right. So, everyone here is just about sick of pronouns, right? Yeah. Like vomiting sick or just mildly sick? Like vomiting sick. That's bad. What? <laughs> yeah, those. Uh, you read the, you read the, the idea was um, if you somehow got ahead and showed it as the pronoun to be Jane. Uh, yeah. All right, we got about five more minutes, so we're going to start verbs, and we'll finish it when we get back. And then we're going to do some writing and some peer review, and you're going to submit your first drafts to me. It's going to be great. I'm excited for the last, the second half. We're going to go back homework. What? Homework. Oh, we're going over it. Oh boy, are we going over it? Beat you to death. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not here. It's fine. Hey, I'm not going to... Look, as long as you do your best, I'm not going to be mad at you. All right? Okay. I will whistle. Uh, Miss Jen, can you take your uh, earphones out? It's cool. They're not attached to anything. This is right. All right, so everyone look at their screens. You have probably already finished reading it by now. Uh, verbs are really simple. If something's happening in the sentence, there's a very, 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 very good chance that it's a verb. So action words like swimming, running, or jumping are verbs. Uh, words like is, was, will are also verbs because they indicate a state of being. Gymnastics. Quite. That's actually in All right, so an example, as you can see on the screen, is the hound jumped at the sound of a car in the driveway. So the subject is the hound, and the verb is jumped, is what it did. Um, um, we'll deal with verb pairs when we get back, since we only have a few minutes. But I'm just going to do a, a couple sentences, make sure you guys get the theory. So, um, sentences and then you can have delicious minty freedom. <laughs> okay? So, everyone, if you can see the board, if not, I'll read it. Um, find the verbs in the following sentences. These are really easy. This is just verb identification. So, I will be there soon. Will be. They will? Yes. Um, actually, the first one is a verb pair, but you guys figured it out. Will be. Yeah. You, you figured it out from looking at the bottom. So, will be is a verb pair because it's a state of being it's in the future. All right, uh, what about the second one? I am so sorry, where's the verb there? Am. So. Am? No, so is a descriptor, because you're not just sorry, you're so sorry. So, so, so soon is not a uh, verb? Soon is an in, what is it, indefinite future tense. 
but it refers to a future date and time. It's not natural action. Like, um, you can't soon something, but you can be there soon. Huh? Okay, anyway, the point is, well, my explanation makes no sense. What you need to take away from it is that soon is not actually a verb. Really yes, Miss Christina. So the verb is sorry, right? Uh, no. It's no, no, no. How can you? All right. Can you sorry something? No, it's describing. Right. Am is your state of being in this case. These are non-action verbs. Like if I said I ran to the door. That would be an action verb because I'm doing something. So, action, non-action. So it doesn't actually have to be an emotion. It doesn't have to be. No. It could be uh, uh, action right? or state of being. Yeah. Do not all the words. Okay. It's about 2:45. You guys have about 15 minutes for break. Um, we're probably done with the PowerPoints for now. We'll work on these later. Um, about, and then we're, when we get back, we're going to review the homework, do some peer review, editing, all that fun stuff. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Uh, you can X out of join.me. Exit. I think this writing is threshing. Ha! <laughs> Beating the hell out of you. Especially when I wrote, when you have to write the stuff, things come up.